Exciting news everyone! The air rifle activities just got a new permission. Good morning everyone! I think it's gonna be a great day. I'm prepping my gear to go to my new place to shoot at and it's one that is infested with pigeons severely. I really think that I'll be able to make a difference, me and my shooting buddies. So this is my Prophet 22 caliber performance version with the Tug Vector Optics Taurus 3 to 18 in by 51st focal plane on it. There it is. I think you can see it. Okay. My range finder, of course. It's not gonna be a place to shoot long distance, but still, I'll be needing it. Some pellets, of course. And my moderator. Oh yes, the magazine too. See you guys in a bit. Check this out. All these tiny dots that you see up there on the beams. Those are pigeons, thousands of them, literally. Do you hear the sound? People keep cursing at me and ask me why am I doing this, this is why. This is just one pile of pigeon droppings, one of many. There is another pile of pigeon poop. These are all over the place. And this place is huge, it's about 155 meters long, that's 170 yards. It's wide, I would say, about 70-something meters, 80 yards. What you see on the ground is more pigeon droppings and some pigeons that we shot just to prove to the management what we're capable of. They were pleased and right there in the distance is the reason because there are so many pigeons right here. It's a grain storage facility and there is grain inside throughout the entire year. There are several conditions that we have to comply with though. The first one is no shooting those pipes. The second is no damage to the windows of course. And the third one is no shooting at the sky rats when they land on those piles of grain to feed. It's almost impossible to collect them afterwards because your feet just sink in the grain. We were also asked to avoid taking long shots just to minimize the risk of damaging something. And with all that dust and pigeon droppings, we'll be wearing these inside. The management says 75 metric tons per year. That's the amount of grain that these pigeons consume. That's tens of thousands of dollars US loss for the owners of this place. I know it seems as if there's plenty of light inside the warehouse, but it turned out it wasn't enough for most of our scope cam equipment, especially when some clouds set in and hit the sun. So we tried different cameras and scope mounts. I started with the GoPro Hero 7 Black and an Eagle Vision lens, and I have to tell you, it performed horrendously. There was almost no light transmission at all. What you see right now is the GoPro Eagle Vision footage. I'll leave it to you to decide whether it's the GoPro or the lens that makes for virtually no image at all. The part 007, being a night vision add-on, performed better of course. Can't say I'm a fan of its 30 frames per second recording abilities though, or the horizontally stretched image. I don't know if it's a hardware or a software problem, but I see it on other YouTube channels too. Surprisingly, the Firefly 8SE gave some decent results despite the grainy image. It's just that this place is not lit well enough for an action camera and at the same time it's not dark enough for a dedicated night vision scope in my opinion. And lastly, filming through a smartphone and a side shot mount produced darker footage than expected, but I'll show you some of it too. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's get him.
basically what's going on is they're moving from one side of this storage facility to the other one right to left and I'm moving along with them and I'm using this concrete fence to rest my gun on it's not the most comfortable rest but it does the job This is why you have to be very careful in these places. This one is most certainly sick. It's just like four or five yards ahead of me. It can barely walk and it cannot fly. Could be ornithosis or something. You gotta be very careful and wear our masks. That right there is one of the entry and exit points. Broken window. Look how many there are.
Man, I better get to collecting all these carcasses on the ground. It's already starting to get dark and I have to collect all these pigeons on the floor. Something else you might find interesting. Look at this. They tell me that there are even hawks living inside this facility. One of them has just feasted on this pigeon. Another pigeon that's been eaten by some bird of prey. That is the second batch. Dozens of pigeons. Some more over there on the pile of grain, feeding. We'll get them all eventually. 